We are alive, certainly. Okay, hello guys, person that did is that this is a free online lesson. Uh, I have no idea which number. There have been many classes now. Today we are going to talk about subjunctive mood. It's a fancy word, but we'll find out in a minute what it is all about. While we're waiting, why don't we introduce ourselves? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, hi, I'm Carrie. Uh, I live in Montana. I'm learning Albanian because I love to learn foreign languages and my best friend is Albanian. Matthew, how about you? <laughs> you know uh, the uh huh. Persian Dethia, um Unyam Matt, um Unyam uh Unyam Ga New York, um Un Isha na Shipria, um na uh Korik, um, uh, un um, un pom soy sheep sepse um, uh, gru gruea ime ushta shipare. Tare, po. Okay, Shumir, just na New Yorku. Na New Yorku. Po, Shumir. Kitty, hello, can you please introduce yourself? Tell me where you're from and why do you want to learn Albanian? Pashundetje unto hem kitty, yam hungarese, yam ga budapesti, the me pomen soy sheep, sepseme perch and juhat the huaja, the shkoi no shippery, no funta koriku. No funta koriku, okay, dot shkoi no shippery, no funta koriku. Tiflet hungarist, angist, potheater, pak sheep? Po, plus. Francist, Spanish, Spanish, Portugalist. The Portugalist. Shumir. Uh, then we have uh, Justine. Hello. Could you please introduce yourself? We cannot hear you. Okay, I will introduce myself because we got disconnected earlier. Uh, Uncho Melson. I'm from Albania. I'm currently living in Tirana and I will be today's uh, teacher. I meant your shore. Okay. Uh, so you were in Albania T Isha no Shipri no Chair Shore. Mir, um, for all there are five viewers from YouTube. If you want to join this lesson, go to learnalbanianonline.net and there click live lessons. You are welcome to join. There are three, four more um, seats. Okay, I will do I will screen share now. Let me know if you can all see my screen. If anyone joins Kerry, please let me know because I cannot see it from um, uh, screen sharing. Okay, today we are going to talk about, this is the fifth lesson about verbs and the first one about subjunctive mood. Uh, we are going to talk about uh, the first mood we studied was indicative and all the lessons re related to that topic are in my YouTube channel. You can already uh, check them out. This is the second mood we are going to study and it's called subjunctive. In Albanian we call it lidore, manura lidore, subjunctive mood. Uh, only a verb is affected by the mood. No nouns, not pronouns, etc., etc. Uh, we are going to learn how to use, how to build subjunctive and how to use it. There are some situations that uh, you can use subjunctive mood. We are going to talk only or mostly about J ending verbs and how to change them from indicative to subjunctive. Uh, and at the end, there will be also exercises. You already know what a verb is. For those who do not, do not know, are those words in a sentence that express an action. We are on slide number two. Uh, that express an action, something that is being developed or an occurrence or a state of being to exist, such as the verb to be, to live, for example. Um, almost every sentence requires a verb. Of course, there are sentences that they do not require a verb as well. There are different types of verbs in Albanian. Those that end in a J, the most common class. The reflexes that end in M. Then we have uh, verbs that end in a vowel, such as happy, re, d, etc. The verbs that end in, end in a consonant, except J ending and em. Those are classes themselves. And of course, irregular verbs. Today we are going to talk about the very first one: J ending verbs in subjunctive mood. But what is a mood? We are on slide number three. It's how the speaker uh, feels about what he is saying or he wants to say. There are uh, different moods in Albanian, six in total. And the first mood we studied was indicative. The second is 
subjunctive mood. As I said earlier, in Albanian, menura lizore. Uh, imperative is also quite used when you give commands, conditional, optative, and admirative are some other ones. Let's start now with the real grammar verbs that end in J. In this slide, I've written them in indicative mood. Um, I wrote them here so we can compare and check out how and how they differ comparing it to subjunctive and, in, and uh, indicative as well. So here in this slide, they're all in indicative. In subjunctive, I will write them right now. Subjunctive, it's um, very special regarding the construction because the verbs, every single verb in every person will take a k in front. Um, so the verb in the verb to work, for example, in indicative is just umpunoi ti punon ai punon ne punoi mi punon yata punoi indicative. In subjunctive, it changes like this from umpunoi un to punoi. So the verb surprisingly, luckily, remains the same, but we have a t in front. The next person will follow the same pattern for all the other verbs that end in j. The next person, tipu non tito punosh, we have an sh sound, sh letter at the end, no longer an n. And the last one, aiyo punon, aiyo to punoi. What's the difference when we pronounce this one at the top and this one here? The e uh at the end is typically silent. However, if there is an e uh at the end, the vowel next in front of it must be longer. So unto punoi and aiyoto punoi with a longer o at the end, aiyoto punoi. That's about the pronunciation. The plural in subjunctive is the same as in indicative, just of course by adding a t in front. Neto punoim, you te punoni, and the last one, atato te punoin. So far, the translation doesn't really make sense. We are saying I to work. So, at the moment, we are just learning how to build it. I will let you know in a few moments how to use this. So, what's the structure? Let's identify the root of the verb. I'll put this one in green. So, pun off from the first until the last one is the root of the verb. We add those suffixes. Those are standard. Those are the same for any other verb. So, all you have to do is memorize uh, those that are not in green. So, the suffixes. Be careful, we need a t in subjunctive. Let's talk about another verb, and then we'll start with an exercise. This is the verb to live, banoi. Uh, conjugation, we follow the same rule, unto banoi. First person, again, doesn't change. Plural doesn't change, neto banoim, you te banoni, atato te banoin. Plural, again, doesn't change. What changes is the second or third person. Again, what's the root? Just bano, we add sh to banosh. And the next person, bano, is again the root. We add a j and umlaut to banoi. Un to banoi, the pronunciation, aiyo to banoi in a longer o. Questions so far? Except the question how to use this. OK. So just a sh here and j umlaut there. Those are the only things that changes. Do not forget the t in front. Let's practice with some other verbs. Here's a list of verbs, slide number five. Exactly the same conjugation will follow also these verbs. Masoi to learn, studioi to study, boi to make or to do, filoi to start, mbaroi to finish, letzoi to read, shkruai to write, kertsei to dance or to jump. Then we have kandoi to sing, notoi to swim, luai to play, and gatuai to cook. They follow the same conjugation. Now, now we are not going to co conjugate them in plural, also in the first person, only the second and the third one. Let's see how they change. Kiri, let's take the first one, mosoi to learn. So, what was the T person? Do you remember it? Tita? Masosh, so the root, is, how to find out the root, first of all, the verb is masoi. For each one of them, drop the last letter. When you drop the last letter, you get the root. So in masoi, the root is maso, studioi, studio, etc. After you find out the root, you know that for the second person, you add an sh, tita masosh. 
And Carrie again, what was the third person? Ayayoto. Uh, Tamasoi, yes. Tamasoi, Tamasoi, Ayayoto Masoi. And not Masoi, yo with umlaut at the end. Tamasoi, correct. Uh, let's take the next one. Uh, Matthew, Studioi, what's the second person? T um, Studios. Correct, the studios. And the next person, third person singular? The studioi. Perfect, the studioi with umlaut, correct. Um, Kitty, let's take B, the next one. Go ahead, Tita. Uh, Tita Bush. And the third person? Ai, ai, o te bai. All right, te bai, Shumir. Ai, ai, o te bai. So far, we cannot build sentences. I'll let you know how to use this. Let's go to the next one. Is Justine here? Yes. Justine, what about Philoi? Go ahead. I cannot hear you. Uh, can you try joining in again, please? And maybe if you have headphones, you can try those. Te filosh and te filoi. The third person. The same for all these verbs that you see here. So again, we are just conjugating second and third person singular because those are the only ones that change. The rest, so the plural all and the first person is the same as in indicative. Uh, let's take Mbaroi, Titum Barosh, Ayayotum Baroi, Toledzosh, Toledzoi, Toshkruash. Let me write Shkruash because it ends in an AJ, so T, T, Shkruash, and I, I, O, T, Shkruai, with umlaut. The Kurtzesh, the Kurtzei, the Kondosh, the Kondoi, the Notosh, the Notoi, the Luash, the Luai, and the Gatuash, the Gatuai. Um, any questions? Can you do Kurtzei? Yes. So I will write it right now. In the first person, it's the same as in indicative. Un te kurtsei, ti te kurtsesh. Yes, with umlaut, ti te kurtsesh. And the third person, ai ai o te kurtsei, te kurtsei, with umlaut. What else? Which one? Luesh, is that right? Luesh? One? Luai. Luai, so lu ash, lu ash, lu the lu ash, the lu ash, and the next one is ai ai o te luai with umlaut and the long vowel, the lu ash and the ai ai o te luai, ai ai o te luai, what else? Gatuai, ti the gatuash, ai ai o te gatuai. Uh, write down two or three verbs from this slide. Um, memorize just the second or third person. So later you can make your own sentence. Or when I explain how to use all this, you can build your own sentences using those verbs. So write down two or three of them and try to create a sentence later when I teach you how to use this. Okay, Tita Squash, other verbs that you want me to conjugate here? Okay, so we are talking about subjunctive mood, and this is present simple tense. So moods have uh, consist of tenses, and only a verb has a mood, only a verb has a tense. We have one more slide with a list of verbs. I will pronounce them. The first one is mendoi, to think, kuptoi, to understand, shkoi, to go, shikoi, to watch. We said do I lie, to watch, Telefonoi to call, haroi to forget, dimoi to help, the joy to listen or to hear, and the last one is shioi to taste. Let's conjugate them. Kerry, let's start with mendoi. Okay. Start with the first person, unte. Oh, unte mendos. First person, unte mendoi doesn't change. Now it changes. Tita. Oh, sorry. Uh, Tita mendos. Ai, ai, yo. Mendoi. A mendoi with umlaut. Plural, ne? Uh, mendoim. A mendoim. You, te, mendoni. And the last person, atato. Uh, 
Mendoin. Mendoin with an N, correct. So this plural is the same as in indicative, except that the part there. And also first person is the same. What changes again, third, second person, singular only. Uh, let's go to um, Kitty. Let's go to the joy. Go ahead, Un. Un tala joy. The joy. Tita la josh. Oh. I I ota la joy. No, not to read. The joy. Sorry, the, the joy. joy. To hear. Yes. I I ota. The, the joy. joy. Yes. The plural. Not uh, the joy. Correct. You the the Johnny. Yes. Atato the the join. Very well. Atato the the join. Correct. The the join. Is there any verb that you'd like me to conjugate? Do you understand all of them? Lie, for example, to wash. I'll do only the third person and the second. Tita, lash, ay ayote, lie. Tita, lash, ay ayote, lie. The rest, they end in oi. They are very regular. Just put a sh at the end. Questions? OK, there are four viewers from YouTube. If you want to join, go to learnalbayanonline.net. Uh, there is a link um, to this live lesson. Exceptions. I wrote there the top exceptions, but these are exceptions when we talk about indicative. Why there are exceptions? Because the root changes. Un vi ti vien. Ai, ai, oh, vien. Then it goes back to regular. Ne vin. You vin et a vin. However, in subjunctive, this is not irregular. It's regular. So let's put the first person. Un te vi still doesn't change it. Uh, change and the third, the second person, Tita. We keep the root, we keep the e, it doesn't change to ye. Tita vish, ay ayota vi. So, the, and the plural then doesn't change me to vim, you the vini, and ata tota vim. So, this verb is irregular when we talk about indicative, but subjunctive, this is regular. It keeps that I, it keeps the root, it doesn't change it. And not tita viesh, for example, but tita vish, I, I, a V, a long vowel, E. So, we can make the difference comparing it to the V, the first person. Uh, and to play was also the other irregular verb in subjunctive. Why it's irregular? The vowel changes in you person. Now, we keep, we I mentioned earlier that the plural is the same as in indicative and subjunctive. So here still we don't change it. We keep the same as in indicative. Ne to blame, you to blini. Atato to blame. And the first person, un to blay, and then tita blesh. I, I ought to play. Okay, questions? Uh, Tell me. Why is it irregular? You said because the U so, form. So I put these two verbs in this slide because they were irregular in indicative mood, in the very first mood that we studied, indicative. Uh, okay. Indicative mood of these verbs, normally you don't change that part in blue. You keep it E everywhere. But this verb has changed it, so it's irregular. However, in subjunctive, this verb skips it. So this verb is not irregular in subjunctive. OK? Questions? OK. Now let's start with how to use subjunctive mode. Try to memorize any of these verbs that we just did, because we are going to use each, most of them. Not each one, but most of them we are going to. One more thing, how to negate subjunctive. Different moods in Albanian have a different negation part. We are on slide number four. Um, in indicative, subjunct, uh, in indicative um, the verb is negated by nuk. So, un nuk punoi, I don't work. But in subjunctive, the verb is conjugated by mos. Be careful, that's where you put mos in front of the verb. Indicative with nuk, subjunctive with mos. OK, the same for all the other verbs. Let's go to how to use subjunctive mood. There are some rules that we are going to talk about each one of them and practice, and we'll do exercises as well. Uh, number one, how to use subjunctive is with modal verbs. Modal verbs are also called helping verbs. There are two basic ones in Albanian. However, considering English, that is the verb to need also, and should, must, etc. I have put some other modal verbs in this uh, slide. So the first one is mund. That means either can or might, showing probability or possibility. Can or might. 
What's the conjugation? This verb is just doesn't change. It's the same from the first to the last person. Un mund, ti mund, ay ay o mund, ne mund, you mund, ata, ato, mund. Be careful, do not confuse this verb, mund, which is modal, with the reflexive form of it, mundem. This is reflexive, it changes the form. We are talking about mund. Both of them mean can. So, un mund, ti mund, mund, etc. Let's build some sentences now using subjunctives that we just learned how to build it. What is like the formula? Follow this one. Subject of the sentence, which can be a person, an animal, an object, a noun, a pronoun, plus model verb, so mund in this case, plus subjunctive form of the verb that we just learned in the previous slides. When I say subjunctive, do not forget that t in front of the verb. So let's follow this construction and make the sentence. For example, ayo nuk mund t vi um, sot sepse ert e zan. So she cannot come today because she's busy. Now let's see the construction. We have ayo, which is the subject. This nuk just negates the modal verb. The second position, we have the modal verb. And the third subjunctive. So um, ayo nuk munta vi, with umlaut at the end. Ayo nuk munta vi sot sepse ösht e zan. Questions? You understand how it works? Mm -hmm. Okay, here's another sentence. Kur mund te takohemi. When can we meet takohemi? It's the verb to meet. Kur mund te takohemi. That is a subjunctive mood of we person. Kur mund te takohemi. Mund, modal verb followed by subjunctive. Here's another one. A mund, uh, for example, a mund te shkoim bash. Na Rome. Can we go together to Rome? So mund, we person, subjunctive. Um, another sentence, where is, let's say, this person? Ku ösht agimi. Where is agimi? The answer. Mund te yet na zur. He might be at, in the office. Mund te yet. What is yet? That's the verb to be. It doesn't belong to the first class of verbs that we just conjugated, uh, but it's still subjunctive mood. Munte yet nazur. This is he might be in the office. Any questions? Try to build your own sentences so later we can uh, read them. Or if you have a sentence ready now, you can read it now. I have one. Okay, go ahead. So, all right. Um, he. Ti nuk mund meson shi sepse un dota mesoi. Hang on, let me start over. Ti um ti nuk mund ti nuk mund te meson anglish sepse un dota mesoi shi. Okay, sepse un dota mesoi shi. Check out the sentence again. There is something missing. Uh -oh. Oh. Not missing, but the, it's not correct. So go back to slide number, let me see, four. We said that after mood, we need subjunctive, right? After the model verb mund. But what is subjunctive? It's the second part with t, with t, with t. But check out the ending. It's massage, massage. All right, the massage. So model verb does require indicative. You put the verb there in indicative, it's not correct. In subjunctive, the massage. You can learn English because I will learn Albanian. Okay, that's correct. The nuk mund masosh English. You cannot learn English. Mir, modal verb plus the correct. Kerry, do you want to build a sentence or or Kitty? Uh, I can try. Um, un uh, un mund uh, um, got two I. Yeah. Okay, full stop. Perfect. Un mund got two I. I can cook. Cook. Correct. And how do you say? Or. Okay. He nuk mund ta got tosh. No. Got to wash. Yes, correct. The nuk munta I can cook, but you cannot cook. That's very correct. Shumir. <laughs> uh, let's go to Kitty. Go ahead. 
Um, Ulmunt uh, Natoi. Huh? Okay, but she cannot swim. What about that? But she cannot swim. Por ayo nuk munt natoi. Okay, pronunciation no, notoi. Notoi. Very well, notoi. So un munt notoi. Por ayo nuk munt notoi with a long o now. Ayo nuk munt notoi. I can swim, but she cannot swim. Correct. Okay, let's go to do head. Exactly the same country. What is do head? Do head is either must or should or have to the conjugation do head the do head i i o do head ne do head you do head and the last person the same ata ato do head be careful these modal verbs are not subjunctive mood conjugated this is indicative un do it do it okay think of a sentence and um let me know when you are ready i have one so um T do het u de tosh Paris uh sepse ush shumbukur. Correct, shumir ti do het ti mund ti do het yeah ti do het tosh kosh na Paris sepse ush shum sepse ush shumbukur because there it's very pretty or if you want to say Paris is beautiful sepse shum ibukur. Correct. Mir, ti duet të shkosh. Kiti? Ti duet të qëndrosh në shtëpi, sepse bëshi? Sepse po bie shi, because it's raining. Ti duet të qëndrosh në shtëpi, sepse po bie shi, correct. Kiri? Aba, ti duet të blesh? Yeah, um, Lule. Okay, Shumir, for Mua. Yeah, for Mua. Okay, perfect. for Mua. Correct. So these are two modal verbs. That's how uh, we use them. Let me write another sentence here. Um, du het flasim. What's the translation, Matthew? Um, we should we should talk. That's correct, Shumir. Here's another one. Um, un du het te blenja kilogram. Uh, mall. What about this? Um, I, yeah, I should. I should buy one kilogram of apple. Correct. Right. We don't have pounds here. Mir, what about um, this one? Kerry, um, do het the wish um, nush the pee summer spade. Do the wish nush the pee summer spade. Um, you should come to my house very quickly very soon yeah shumir so you should come home you should come oh, home you yeah. should come home summer spate as fast as possible or as quickly as possible summer spate how do you know it is you should and not he should or they should wish, wish perfect because we have the ending in wish that's yeah. correct let me write one more sentence uh this is a sentence that you can say to your kids Du het te mësosh nëse një dit do të punosh. You should learn or study if one day you want to work. If you want to work one day. So SH, SH at the end, it's still T person. Questions? Yeah. Okay, let's go to the next one. The next model verb is dua. This is just want. Dua is the modal verb one. The conjugation un dua ti do, ai ai o do ne duam you doni ata ato duan. Let me write an example. Think of any uh, of examples of uh, of sentences. Un dua um, the blenja bilet fluturimi uh, per. Uh, for now, let's say, let's say, where, 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 um, Kili. I want to buy a flight ticket to Kili. Duat to Chile. Duat to Blay. I want to buy. Here's another one. Um, Ayo do to Shkoi Vetem. Na, 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 kinema. She wants to go alone to the cinema. Ayo do to Shkoi. She wants to go alone to the cinema. Now, if any of you can make that C with a comma underneath it, 
I would be very grateful. I need the capital one. Oh, God, where's that one? Okay, thank you. Take your time. So let me write here Chfar. Um, let me see. Chfar do. Uh, Pardot blesh per Christlindia. Christlindia, what we, uh, do you want to buy for Christmas? Um, another one is Chfar do the Suash Mekata. What do you mean by this? Chfar do Suash Mekata. In your output, I'll underline them like this. Questions? Um. Okay. Do you have to conjugate? You have to conjugate both verbs in the sentence. So. Uh, yes, both verbs. So those that were not conjugated were the modal verbs can and must. But do I? It's a modal verb that it's conjugated. Un do I do I do? It's conjugated in different persons. So that the first, the first verb is conjugated. Also the second one as well. So ne duam te mesoim sheep. Perfect, correct. Ne duam te nesoim shchip, correct. What else? So the negative form of dua would be unukdua. Yes, unukdua, correct. Unukdua, what you don't want to do? Unukdua te? Uh, uh, sleep, I forgot sleep. Uh-huh. But sleep, fle, I forgot. Fle, fle, fle. Okay, fle, unuk duata fle, I don't want to sleep, nuk duata fle, jum. Okay, correct. Kitty, Kitty? Duata shkoi me pushi me tani. Shumir, duata shkoi me pushi me tani. Correct. Shumir. And let's go to the last part about uh, modal verbs is kam nevoi need. In Albanian um, language, it's not, these are not really modal verbs. However, since English has them, um, I found the equivalent one that we have in Albanian. We are on slide number uh, 11. There are some viewers from YouTube. If you want to join, go to learnalbanianonline.net. You have the link in the description uh, box below. Kam nevoi is need. It's conjugated only kam. Un kam nevoi doesn't change. TK. Nevoi again doesn't change. Uh, Ayayoka, nevoi. Nekemi, nevoi. Um, Yukemi, nevoi. And the last person, Ata, Ato, Kan, nevoi. They need. Uh, still, uh, 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 they are followed again by the subjunctive mode. For example, Ayo, um, Ayoka. Nevoi to play my telephone thirty. She needs to buy a new phone. I o can avoid to play my telephone thirty. Any of you has any sentences or examples that you'd like to share? Un un kam nevoi to shkoi na dichan. Shumir, I need to go. Un kam nevoi. I need to go to the store, correct? With kamun si is exactly the same. You just conjugate kam. I put my boy here for some reason. Moon the si. Un kamun si. That's can. Just just like moon, the same one. Un kamun si, tike mun si. The same conjugation until the end. For example, here's a sentence. Um, a ke mun si to this sort. Can you come today? The little translation is, do you have the chance or possibility? Can you come today, among the dish salt? Um, or I came on see the dish salt. I have a question, Nelson. Tell me, tell me. Can you put an S in front of com to negate the model verb? Uh, in front of com? Un scam um, yes. Um, scam yes, of course. So we negate. The first verb, which is not in subjunctive, this is not subjunctive here. We negate it by either nuk or s with apostrophe, un nukam nevoi or un skam nevoi. So she doesn't need to buy a new phone. I un nukam nevoi to blend your telephone to re or un nukam nevoi. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. The same for kamunsi. Okay, this was the first usage, remember, of subjunctive mood. Remember the modal verbs, mund and duhet, the first ones. Then we have dua and kam nevoi, kam munsi. These are not very, very used. But the most important is, is mund, duhet, and dua. Let's go to the second usage of subjunctive mood. There is a, there is a list of verbs that you should uh, memorize. 
as you have noticed already, subjunctive mood, you don't really find it alone. It needs another verb in front. It needs another verb which is in indicative, the first mood we have studied. That's we put that one first and then we put subjunctive. Here are some verbs, I'll write a list here, that will require, not always, most of the time, will require subjunctive mood. The shiroi, I would like. In subjunctive mood, it, it's similar to the English uh, construction to plus verb. So like you call it infinitive. I would like to go. I, I uh, think to, I'm thinking to, or I'm starting to, etc., etc. So here is a list of verb, and then I'll write an, um, some examples. Philoi. So the shiroi is literally to desire, or I would like. Tiloi to start, mendoi, the verb to think, um, spressoi, the verb to hope, underoi, to dream, or shkoi, to go, or vajdoi, to continue, or di, to know something, or here's the, the reflexive verb that I mentioned earlier, mundem, can, as reflexive verb. So these and other verbs are followed by subjunctive mood. Let me write an example. Think of your own uh, sentence, meanwhile. Un de shiroi, the, now subjunctive part, uze toy, na te gif, boton, me, um, ma centime. Un de shiroi, tu toy, na gif, boton, me, ma centime. Kiri, the translation? I want uh i i desire uh food <laughs> ustoy no no to shim ustoy what is ustoy matthew travel. Travel. travel travel yes so yeah, i i would like to travel, travel uh -huh. the whole world with my cat that's correct Junior. so the subjunctive part is those toy the indicative part is just the shiroi Let's go to another sentence. Meanwhile, you think of yours. If you have it ready, you can let me know. Ai po filon te kandoi me kangataren theater. He is starting to sing with the other singer. With the other singer. So te kandoi is the subjunctive part. And Philon is the indicative part. Alison, tell me. What is um, Shpressoi and Vajdoi again? Okay, so Shpressoi is to hope, uh, to hope to do something, and where is Vajdoi to continue? To continue. Um, what else? Let's go to another sentence. I still need that C with a comma. I haven't received it yet. <laughs> Anyone has it? Yeah. No, OK, let me. I have a way of doing it. Wait, translator. Uh, if, I, if I write what on Google Translate, um, I get I get Chfar. Here we have it. Oh, yeah. so, so Chfar, there we have it. I have to put it also in two, sent in two slides before here. Wait, okay, far, um, and this is one here, and this is one. Okay, we are fine now. Near so far, um, far, another sentence. Far mendon the bush, um, me yetan tande. What do you think? Literally, what do you think to do with your life? What are you thinking of doing with your life? Um, is the subjunctive part. And mendon, the verb to think conjugated in indicative. Anyone has a sentence? Un, um, un filoi ta kunoi uh, ta Tahanan? Tahanan, yes, Tahanan. Then we'll need the future. I will start on, but the rest is correct. Un dota filoi tapunoi tahanan. I will start working on Monday. Oh. Any other sentences? Kerry, Kitty? Mm. Uh huh. Un desiroi tavi por nuk mund. Nuk 
ok, un dă și roi dă vi, por nu mund. Now what happens here, it's a great example, but we'll see something. The modal verbs, the modal verbs that we said earlier, mund and do had, they must be followed by a verb. They are never alone like this. In English you say, can you go there? Yes, I can. But in Albania, not un mund. It's not correct and then full stop. We have to follow it by a verb. So in this case, we use this reflexive at the top. Un mundem. Yes, I can. Mundem. So, un dashiroite vi pornuk mundem. I would like to come, but I can't. Do you understand it? These two verbs, they must be followed by another verb. It's not that it's understood and I don't have to put it. No, it must be followed by another verb. So either un dashiroite vi por nuk mund te vi, which doesn't sound well uh, repeating the same verb again. In this case, we replace it with mundem and reflexive, with, which doesn't require um, a verb after it. Here's another sentence. Acoma ponderon te fitoi lotarin. She is still, or he is still, dreaming of, of winning the lottery. So, ponderon te fitoi, third person. Here we cannot really find out which gender exactly it is, but you know it from the context. It may be he or she. Okay, here's another example with mundem. Un nuk mundem. So I cannot. Um, it's optional to put a verb after it, but still makes sense with full stop. Unuk uh, mundem te vajdoi ma. I can't continue anymore, basically. Mundem. I chose that verb at the top. I can continue the sentence because vajdoi is part of the list at the top. So unuk mundem te vajdoi te, let's say, masoi germanisht. I can't continue to learn German anymore. So, but Masoi now, it's not part of that list, so we cannot, cannot continue it anymore with subjunctive. It sounds weird. Okay. Ayo dit skruai that the uh, um, flas ship uh, shumir she knows Literally, to read in English, she knows reading or how to read and to speak Albanian very well. So memorize that list of verbs there. They are typically, not always, but typically followed by subjunctive. Okay, questions? Let's go to the next slide, number three. This is number 13. This is the third, the third use, usage of subjunctive mood. We are talking now about Liza in Albanian, in English, conjunction. There are some conjunctions, uh, so linking words, basically, that uh, follow or require subjunctive mood. I will write some of them. May and their translation, mechelin, which is optional, and that's ch, mechelin ch, that ch is mandatory. So that one, all of it, it's a linking word or a conjunction. Uh, this means in order to, just like in English, this just means in order. Just like in English, it's followed by to, in order to. So also in Albanian, it's followed by that to in subjunctive. Mechelin ch, in order. Uh, other ones are for sa, or sapo, which means uh, as soon as, as soon as, also just another translation. Um, let's go to another one, it's ku. Ku, it can be a question pronoun, but also a linking word. Uh, we'll, I will write some examples later. Also kur, it can be a question, interrogative pronoun, but also linking, a conjunction of time. Para se, which means before. Kudo ch, everywhere. Kudo ch, everywhere. And we have to, which means if. If as a conjunction, it's if. Then we have some other ones. Uh, sa, sa do ch, no matter what. No matter, depending on the verb then. No matter what or how, etc. Um, si do ch, however, however it is, however it may be, however, etc. So these are some conjunctions that are followed by subjunctive mood. Let me write some examples so you can understand it better what I'm talking about. 
Uh, once again, please, kudocha, everywhere, anywhere. Anywhere or everywhere. Kudocha. Adocha, no matter what. Or sidocha, ha, uh, um, however, or in whatever way, sidocha. Un po no soy cheap. Me cholim. Cho te fla te flas. Me shokun tim mata mir. I'm learning Albanian in order to, just in order then to speak. So, un po masoj shib me cholim cha. I'm learning Albanian in order to speak or to talk, to talk to or with my best friend. Okay, Kiri? Yeah. Um, let's go to another sentence with another conjunction. With the same one, for example, ajo po shkon në du chan. She's in order to me to live, she to play robotarea. She's going to the store, to the shop, in order to buy uh, new clothes. Robotarea are new clothes. So here is a conjunction again: me to live, she followed by a subjunctive to play. Let's go to another sentence. For sa, or I said there, it's the same as sapo. Uh, just or as soon as, um, followed by subjunctive baroi shkollen, sapotom baroi shkollen, dua te filoi pun. Two subjunctives there, so por sa, because of the conjunction, and dua, uh, followed again by subjunctive because it's a modal verb, two subjunctives there. As soon as I finish school, I want to start work. Good luck with that in Albania. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the next one. Um, um, I will dot uh, press per two. Kuto duash. We have not talked about this part yet, but we use subjunctive also to build the future. I'll explain it in the next slides. I will wait for you wherever you want or wherever you want me to. Dot press per two. Kuto duash. Okay, Kerry, can you uh, say a sentence, or Kitty, or Matthew? Uh huh. With any of them. How do you say in Albanian? So, kudo, where was kudo here? Kudo plus j is wherever or anywhere, wherever also. So, how do you say in Albanian? Wherever you go, uh, I want to come with you, for example. Uh huh. Kudo, <coughs> kudo cha, um, t. Okay. Uh huh. Followed by subjunctive now. Kudo cha. T te shkon. Subjunctive. Shkosh. T. Oh, t te shkosh. Sorry. Kudo cha te shkosh. And then. Un dua. Un dua te. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wherever you go, I want to come with you. Here's another sentence with Kudocha de Shkosh. It's a famous song. Let's see if you'll find it out. Kudocha de Shkosh, Shvardocha de Bosh. Wherever you go, whatever you do, etc., etc. You know the song? Any or not? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Right uh, let's, go, let's go to the next one. Um, using po as, sub, as, a, as, a link, as, as conjunction, followed by subjunctive, it means if. Po te duash, if you want. Po te duash, if you want. So subjunctive. Um, mund te marash eve nje kilogram. Darda, if you can, if you want, if you want, you can take also one kilogram of pears. So, to marsh subjunctive, to do our subjunctive. Kiri, why to do our subjunctive there? What is, why do you use subjunctive there? Um, because it's after the model bird moon. Yes, and what about duash? Um, because uh, of po. Because it's after the conjunction po. Because of Paul, because of the conjunction Paul, we use subjunctive. Okay, uh, the same because of the modal verb mund, we use subjunctive. Um, 
si do ch to shkoj puna, this is more like an expression you can say to your friend who needs you. Jam krenar or feminine krenare per tu. However, it goes or whatever happens, I am I am proud of you. Okay, in Albanian it's more like an expression. Si do ç to shkoj puna. However, the work goes. No matter what. So si do ç to shkoj puna is like no matter what. Mir, any of you can make any sentences or it's a bit difficult with this part? Oh. Okay, so any of these conjunctions followed by subjunctive for the translation, mechelimcha, what is something in order to? So you do something in order for something else. You can make a sense with that, in order. Or for as soon as, as soon as I do this, I will do that. As soon as I finish this, I'll finish that. Before I do this, I'll do this other thing. Uh, However, this goes no matter what, etc. You remember after this subjunctive mood, t or any of the verbs. Kitty, can you make a sentence? Um, Porsa flas ship shume miras koi na shipari. Okay, followed by subjunctive. Porsa to flas ship mir. As soon as I finish, I'll be well, right? As soon as I speak, I'll be in well. That's what you mean, right? Yes. Okay, so as soon as sapo or porsa, sapo to flas shit mir, followed by subjunctive, we said to flas, and then I will go to Albania, do to shkoi, do to shkoi na shipri. Um, Tell me. Un, um, un, uh, mer. Autobus me chalim cha ta um shkoi na pun. Okay, okay, I take the bus or I will take? I will take un do ta mar. Okay, un do ta mar autobusin me chalim cha ta shkoi, followed by subjunctive ta shkoi na pun. I'll take the bus in order to go to work, correct? As I said, this me chalim is optional. You can also just say cha. Un po me soj shqip, që të flas me shokun tim të mirë, or un po marat o buzin, që të shkoj në pun, etc. Tell me, aha. Un po pënoj me qëllim të udëtoj në Gjermania. Të mirë, në Gjermani, korek. Un po pënoj, so me qëllim, it's optional, që të that's very correct. I am working in order to travel to Germany. Here's another sentence I wrote. Un po kurse. It's another verb. To, to uh, save money. Un po kurse. Të të shkoj me pushim. I'm saving money in order for me to go on holiday. Okay. Phrases like these that I'll write now uh, are followed by subjunctive, such as it's good, followed by subjunctive to. You can also say it's better. You can say instead of catch, it's worse, followed by subjunctive. Or it's dangerous too. It's necessary too. Um, it's important too. Um, and other uh, sentences like that is much my mirrors, my catch is worse, etc. etc. So, this or it's harmful, it's harmful to do something, etc. These phrases are followed by subjunctive by two and then the verb. For example, subjunctive, practicos. It's good for you. One second. Okay, it's good for you to practice Albanian with others. Metatiered, it means with others. It's good for you. Or it's necessary. Um, uh, it's necessary for you to exercise more or to do more exercises. 
Uh, Matthew, can you think of a sentence? Um, <clears throat> Ush, uh, Runda Sishma to, um, to do what? To work, to start, to finish, to continue, to sing, to dance. To uh, uh, yeah, Ush, uh, Runda Sishma to, um, Led Led Zone Stodi. Check it out again. Um uh -huh. uh, I don't know what I did wrong. Uh check it out again. So Usher and Sishmet subjunctive led Zosh. Led oh led Zosh. Okay, led Zosh sh sh so you, you keep saying them in indicative, but we have nothing to do with it anymore here. Oh, if oh. it's the in front, no longer punon. If it would work, if it was the first person, it's important for me to, to read every day. Yeah. It's important for you, you said, to read every day. It's, it's um, how do you say, carry? It's dangerous. We have it there. It's dangerous to swim alone. It's dangerous for you to swim alone, correct. Um, here's another sentence. It's better to It's better to buy this than that. Kitty, what is tell me tell me matthew what, what is dumb schma don't harmful harmful it's harmful too for example uh, a dumb schme to pish alcohol oh. okay also to pish alcohol um questions Many people have died of alcohol, but many were born also. <laughs> okay, questions? Uh, so, Ush, a Domshma. To peach cigar. Okay, Shumir, to peach cigar. Perfect. It's harmful to drink. To, sm to smoke, not to drink. Okay. Uh, Kitty? Uh, I'm going uh, to run the sishme uh, to luash door para push team, or I don't know what he's eating. Okay. Oh. I'm going to run the sishme to do what? Luash. Uh, luash, and then? Door. Doran. Uh, snow. Hand. Oh, the luash doran. Okay, it's it's important to move the hand and then wash. I wanted to say wash. Oh, wash. Sorry, the lash. Lash. The lash. First, Aaron Sishme. The lash doran. Para se before. Para se the hash before you eat. So two subjunctives there. The lash and the hash. The lash because of the the phrase first Aaron Sishme. And the hash because of the phrase of the conjunction para se. I thought you said luash, which means to play, but also to move, by the way. Play, so it would make sense if you say to play or to move. Mir, um, questions? Okay, so I will write future simple. We'll talk about this one in the next lesson. Let me write here. That's all pretty much about subjunctive. So first with modal verbs, second with this list of verbs here, and third with these conjunctions. There is one, uh, these phrases that we said here also. There is one more, but we'll talk in the next lesson about that usage, which is also very important. Let me write an exercise here quick. We are not going to do it here, but uh, I will write it now, and we are going... Uh, you can post your answers in the video uh, comments below. Artanim, blank, 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 blank. And then we have dua, model verb in parentheses, and then still empty here, then got to y, and then uh, dark, na, stepin, eti. So you have to put the verbs in the correct mood 
also the modal verb there, also the verb. Nay, we have here blank, then mund, again blank, here masoi, uh, ship na internet. That's the second sentence. Um, the next one, uh, um, mir, um, blank, 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 uh, mir, then let's say let zoi, and then mir lieber na ship. That's the third one. Two more with a conjunction. Passi. We have the verb baroi to finish. Uh, liber after I finish this book. And then we have blank and modal verb want. Then the other verb uh, philoi. Um, and then another empty space. Um, Lezoi. And then nya. Theater. After I finish this book, I want to start in Albanian to read another book. I want to start to read another book. Um, what else? Um, with yes or no question, a ah, model verb, um, empty space. Here is the verb v, tani, tani, uh, Here's another one, question mark. Um, what else? Nay, empty space, duam, and then empty space again, then shkoi, um, na, kinema. Um, okay, that's all I think. So these, they are in subjunctive mood. If there are two verbs, the first verb must be in indicative, and then the second, or if there is any other verb after it, in subjunctive. Uh, you can write your answers in the comment section uh, below on YouTube. You can pause the video here and you can do the, the rest of the exercise. Mia, do you have any sentences on your own, Kerry, Kitty, Matthew? Yeah. You ran out of sentences? Yes. Yeah. They're all gone. Uh, all gone. Okay, no problem. Mia, uh, any questions in general about this uh, mood, subjunctive mood? Remember how to build it second person and the third person, change it only. And remember how to use it with those modal verbs, which is the most important one, with that list of verbs, with those expressions, it's bad, it's necessary, it's important, um, and with those conjunctions, which is very, very important, okay? okay? Mir, this was today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Down there, chill, Nelson. You are welcome. Uh, thank you also to the viewers live from YouTube. And uh, I hope to see you in the next lesson, which will probably be 5th of August. You are welcome to join. For more information, you can visit my website, learnalbanonline.net. Greetings from Albania. Mirupavshim. 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 Bye.